Now, hopefully, uh, so we're going to go ahead and get started. This is Moses Kamagin of the Northern Virginia Ukulele Society, and I'm going to watch the chat room for a little bit because I want to see if you can hear me. Uh, I'm not sure that you can yet, uh, but if somebody could just type in, oh, wait a minute, I could sit there and I got this new thing set up. Oh, yeah, I can hear myself pretty good. <laughs> okay. So I think we're, we're, we're going good. And um, so we have a treat for you today for the uh, jams. Um, and of course, uh, then I've got David here with me. Um, let me bring him in so David and I can give you a, a talk to you. So say hello to David. And uh, he's there on my left and I'm on his right. <laughs> <laughs> It's always it's always interesting how this Zoom works because you never know which direction they'll really look, uh, depending on how the uh, layout is for our broadcast. Um, so today, like I said, uh, one of the things is that, of course, we've got the Fourth July weekend coming up. So we definitely want to wish you a happy holiday uh, before we get uh, so wrapped up in some of the things that we're doing. We forget to wish you uh, happy Fourth, uh, happy Independence Day uh, at the end of the uh, jam session. Uh, we do need to finish our jam session promptly at 3.40 today um, because we got a little bit more uh, things set up for, uh, for you for the uh, open mic, for the monthly open mic. Uh, I do want to say that I want to thank um, uh, Michael Keale, who's, uh, who, uh, um, has, who wanted to be part of the, uh, the open mic, uh, for more, uh, some of it from a promotion from him. So you'll see him on the open mic. Uh, segment and uh, he's a professional musician uh, and he of course will be anchoring uh, but we will have a full slate of performers uh, starting at four o'clock with the open mic and right now we're going to be doing the jams and one of the things we're going to do is that I am going to show you something that the ensemble has been working on um, so the ensemble for the last 13 weeks have been rehearsing in a social safe uh, basically zoom um, and we've had to learn how to uh, rehearse a new way and that's basically we make individual recordings of ourselves of a particular song arranged in a particular way uh, and they and they had to sing their parts without hearing who else is singing with them whether they're singing tenor or high baritone if I split the tenors up um, the altos and of course it's a high alto low alto if I split them up uh, and a soprano uh, and then of course I'm not out in front directing them because uh, they can't see anybody so, every, so I'm, I'm also uh, performing uh, because I should know how to sing and play all the parts as well uh, and then we integrate them into a video and then we kind of point out so okay here's some things that you need to work on and we do that from week to week we're, we've got two full videos set up we got two in the hopper that we're working on but just to show you what they're doing, this is what we, we have done with a song that we're going to teach you how to play today. People wonder where I'm going. People watch me do my thing. People ask me who I am. Say, I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see that it's me, all of me? I am what I am. I'll be what I'll be. Look, can't you see that it's me? i 
So, David and I are back, and we hope you really like that. That was uh, our ensemble um, performing for you, uh, or actually performing in a video to kind of give you the kind of the idea how that was all going to work. Um, we had to submit that video um, Thursday night, um, and uh, when it went to the Roy Sukuma folks, and uh, if you don't already know. The Ukulele Festival Hawaii is having its 50th anniversary this year. Unfortunately, during the pandemic, uh, it was canceled, uh, but they're still going to do a tribute. Uh, uh, the number of different local television stations in Hawaii are uh, putting, a uh, I think, a 30-minute tribute together to, uh, to the Sukumas and all of those volunteers who put that show on, or I should say, show the festival on, every year and as i understand it it is the largest ukulele festival in the united states with about four thousand to eight thousand people who show up to attend uh, on both days of the festival and there's also a large contingent go to the fundraiser dinner the night before on friday um and the at the end they always play this big sing-along and one of them is one of that sing-along is um um uh, I am what I am by Roy Sukuma. So, David, why don't you tell about your experience uh, last? We went two years ago to the forty uh, eighth uh, annual mm -hmm. uh, yeah. festival. You went with us, and I think you also went with us to the forties. Or did you go no, to the forty seventh? You went to uh, the forty seventh. Yeah. The, the first one we went to. That's, That's right. right. It was twenty seventeen. Uh, in the summer of 2017. Right, that was the 47. So why don't you do it, tell it real quick about what you well, uh, experienced. Yeah, I mean, it was great. So first of all, it was it was also an anniversary trip for my wife and I and some of the other uh, ensemble members brought their significant others and took a few days to go island hopping or whatever. So that was a highlight, was just just being there and being around and doing, doing the, the, the regular things. Um, then the, the festival, it was just massive. I just didn't have a, any idea what it was, but there's a big... Uh, outdoor, um, I don't know, a covered stage, and and uh, you you sit out there in the grass on your table, and we had a, a big tent we had rented and chairs and stuff, and sat there and watched all the other acts and people you've heard of, um, you know, lots of famous performers uh, playing for free, along with people from around the world who flew in and performed anything from little kids, Japanese groups, and whatever. And then it was our turn, and we got up there and. Did our numbers and um, we did two two numbers um, and those were uh, recorded um, by the uh, organizers. So I think they're they're out there. At least one of the numbers are out there in a nicely done video, as well as our home videos. Uh, and then we also did a, a long set over uh, in a under a tent over by the food area. And so we did our whole uh, our whole repertoire there, and also um, uh, lots of. Uh, booths to buy stuff merchandise and food and all kinds of things it was great a lot of fun well super um so one of the things that we're going to do for you is that i'm going to switch it in and then what you'll see to my um no the other side to that side of the screen <laughs> is you'll see the uh, roy sukuma uh, uh song sheet this is what we sang at the end of every show um, the ensemble, we got invited on the, the 47th annual, and then we were very lucky to be asked back again the second year, which was the 48th annual. And of course, we took another um, uh, set of folks over, over, over to Hawaii to play uh, in all those different, we had, our, uh, like David said, num a number of different sets. So here's how this song goes. So the it's not on this sheet, but the intros, if you look at the last line, it says, look, can't you see that it's me? And then you see that G7 in parentheses. That's the part that's actually the introduction. And the way we played that uh, was a just a straight eight. So it, the straight eight, if, you play, if I just play the intro, it's just not a swing, but a straight. And then it goes, look. So it goes, then you, we start writing, writing the song. People wonder where I'm going. People watch me do. And then we go on for the rest of the song. And so it's just the verse, then the chorus, the verse, then the chorus, and the verse, and the chorus. And then we go to the ending. And the ending is not as tricky as it looks. 
The ending is going to be, and I'm tipping my ukulele up so that you can see it in the screen. It, it's going to be, you're going to play, look, can't you see that it's two strums, two strums on the F, and then a one, 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 and that last one's two on a C, two on the F, and then one on a C, one on G7, one on the C, and that, that's how it ends. So that's the quick tutorial on this song. Now here's the challenge. If you put this song together and you record it and you put it out on the um, uh, on Facebook or on YouTube and you tag it with uh, UFH, the hashtag, and I forget what that is, I will post it in the chat window when David comes up. I'll, I'll, I'll for it with one of his songs. I'll put it in the chat room so that you can have it. If you record it and you just put it out there, uh, and you send it to a particular email, you might get included in the recording. You have until the 29th, which is basically tomorrow. Uh, but it's a fairly simple song. So here we go. We're going to start with the intro. Then go right into the song.
Well, we hope you like that. Uh, that was uh, that was pretty cool with me. I don't know if that's uh, what you uh, kind of expected from the first song, but I wanted to kind of show you that's the song that we uh, that the ensemble performed for you just earlier. Now you have the lead sheet. Uh, for the society members, we, we could put that lead sheet in our folder for jam songs. Um, but I think there's also a link on our Facebook that shows you how to go to the, the uh, Ukulele Festival Hawaii website. And, um, uh, and from the website, it, uh, it'll tell you all, give you all the instructions on uh, how do you record it, like making your phone sideways, being at 129 beats per minute. And they even have the example recording. If you stick that in your ear, if you have two phones, one in your ear so that you can hear it, and then play to the song, um, and, and recording it from your second phone, if you have a second phone, if you have a way to record. Um, and that's uh, and that's sort of what the the society did. They just listened and practiced the song and then uh, recorded. Some of them you saw that they didn't have any headsets, or and in my case, and uh, you know. You, stuck in the ear but we just don't turn our head sideways so you can see our headset in our ears um but anyways so um and uh hey thanks bob yeah that was that was kind of nice uh and uh so we're gonna move on to another song and the next one is one of our signature songs beautiful kawaii and um if um um that's a song let me see i gotta pull that up on one of my sheets there we go even though I know how to, I, I should look at the lead sheet because that this is one you're supposed to know from the uh, by heart. Um, but the way we usually play this is that, uh, and I'm, I, I want to do a sound uh, a sound check um, from somebody out there in um, who's listening. Are, are we doing pretty good for sound? I mean, you can hear us pretty good. It's not too loud, or um, and it, and you're and it's doing okay sort of watching the chat to see if uh, that's if somebody would respond. Beverly, That's great. Hey, thanks, Beverly, uh, for that uh, heads up. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start on beautiful uh, Kauai. And remember, we're gonna, uh, I lead with uh, one vamp, and then we go second time vamp through, then you'll join right in. Uh, so here we go. It goes like this. I'm sorry, it goes. Can you join in with me now? To the G7. There's an island across the sea. A beautiful Kauai. A beautiful Kauai.
forget to tag this line or put repeat it. Beautiful Kauai. A beautiful Kauai. Nice. I always like that song. Again, remember that's a um, uh, a um, signature song for the society, and we kind of would like for you to be able to play that song without having to have any lead sheets in front of you in case we go to places like the Birchmere when they reopen and Jake shows up in town and we play in the jams or when we're sitting around waiting for the group picture with Jake uh, with the society members. Uh, then we could play the uh, m uh, music because we don't uh, we don't have music stands around, and we play we could play something like that. Well, I'm going to turn it over to Dave. Well, actually, I forgot to do something. I always forget with this newfangled uh, technology. So, um, so what do you think, David? Uh, uh, how's it going uh, from your end? I'm fine. I'm not dealing with all the technology problems that you have on your end. <laughs> <laughs> I got I got a one way thing out here, and you're like. Uh, I don't know, catching on one side, pitching out the other way, and hoping it lands on the right website and all of that. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's uh, it's uh, that's always a challenge. And then I think I got the the um, the the microphone and the other feed working right because it seems like this time we started yeah. right out. We're almost on time. We're closer to starting on time. A lot closer than last time. Um, I think the audio feeds sound good. I'm, yeah, I'm no looking problem at so far. And, uh, I guess. So far looks good, and uh, even Bob is saying that he loves it on his big screen. I would love to see this on the big screen. Yeah, and uh, now I won't tell that story because I, when I first got my first big screen, I it was a football game that was on, and I was, I was, I thought it was, I was impressed watching it. <laughs> You know that camera that flies in over the top of the players when the, and it goes from uh, right. sideline to sideline? You would not believe what you can see. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, so David, we're going to, like we did last time, because we are still in the pandemic, and I, I thought it would be nice if we get to play your uh, your original lyrics, your pa uh, parody, for the COVID okay. uh, 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 pandemic that we got going on. So right. you are up. Okay, back by popular demand, huh? So, so Moses, you're putting the are you putting the, uh, the the thing up for the people then? Yes, it's already up. It's there. Okay, good. So I, it, it's there's a delay. Okay, so, um, yeah. Well, yeah. Back by popular demand. Okay, so this song you know, um, it's just that I made up different words for it to be uh, uh, more um, timely here. So uh, I think we only have two. You're right. There's only two chords, right? C and G seven, and uh, um, it's a. Uh, you might not be able to um, keep keep up with the, the the phrasing of all the lyrics. Don't worry about it. Just come in on that chorus. In between each of the verses, uh, is that chorus, and then uh, the very last chorus at the end has a, a lyric variation. Don't worry about that. So let's see. Starts on the C note for singing. In a man cave in my basement, teleworking for a time. How I spent my 2020 with my wife in quarantine. COVID darling, COVID darling, COVID darling, quarantine. You are locked up in our bedroom while I'm drying on the vine. Night and gale was a night nurse just like my wife of long. Longfellow wrote about her. All my gal gets is this song. COVID darling, COVID darling, COVID darling quarantine. You are locked up in our bedroom while I'm drying on the vine. This is how it goes, folks. Drove her minivan to the clinic every morning, crack of dawn. Caught a virus from a patient, so they told her, you are gone. COVID darling, COVID darling, COVID darling quarantine. You are locked up in our bedroom while I'm drying on the vine. Ruby lips behind a face. 
Christmas that was hiding her beauty. She's so close and yet so distant, all because of a cootie. COVID darling, COVID darling, COVID darling quarantine. You are locked up in our bedroom while I'm drying on the vine. Isolation, isolation, oh it seems like such a crime. But my daughter and her sister gave this mister family time. COVID darling, COVID darling, COVID darling quarantine. You are locked up in our bedroom, so I nursed a glass of wine. Or in this case, it's a Molokai mule, but who's keeping track? Not me. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, that's a, I mean, that's, I mean, that is a really nice song. And I think that's a really, uh, it's, it's really good that you did a tribute to your wife um, uh, on uh, using a parody. Uh, and, and I'm hoping she's doing well today. Oh, no problem. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. good. Good. Because um, that's always one of those challenges on whether how well, you know, how well our loved ones are doing and especially in a place like this, every time you go out, you, you, you had the challenge and the debate of, you know, do I go in because I see a bunch of people who's not masked? Uh, do I wear my mask? Or, or do I go in and not worry that they're not wearing masks and some of them are wearing masks? Uh, they're all keeping social distance or they're not keeping social distance. A lot of different questions that people are challenged. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, um, to get back to the, the and again, that, thanks for a great song, David. So I, <laughs> I, I know people have been asking for some for that song. So it, now it's, we're a, gonna, it's a nice tune, you know, it's just it it's a nice tune. It's the, the words are a little old, but so make up new ones, right? Right. I mean, that's that's what we do sometimes. And matter of fact, if somebody if uh, the club hears the way we sing Shady Grove, a traditional mountain tune from T uh, Kentucky, because um, Shady Grove's a person, um, the Hawaii State Society, not Hawaii State Society, the, I don't know where that one came from. Uh, the uh, Northern Virginia Ukulele Society went to Hawaii some time ago to participate in the um, in Hawaii's attempt to break the uh, Guinness World Record for the largest ukulele ensemble playing the same song. Um, they were close, not close enough. And the, one of the funny ones were, we actually broke it here, or we thought we did, here in Virginia at the Strathmore at one of their ukulele festivals. And... Uh, it turned out the night before, and we didn't know that, but the night before, Sweden had broken the other record. We broke the current record at the time of what we thought was by one or two people, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, but Sweden beat it by like 100 or so. Uh, now it's going to get more difficult because I think the current number is like 8,000 people. Mm -hmm. And I always kind of knew that once they got out that they were going to do it. China was going to bring all these people in and mm -hmm. it will always play hard to, uh, hard to catch up. But anyways, um, we're going to do this next song called Hole. And to give you kind of a brief um, um, uh, introduction to this song called Hole, uh, you'll hear a number of different versions. For a long time, I didn't hear a lot of versions on YouTube or being recorded, but now there's quite a few. And, and some of them you'll hear as uh, r really fast and loud and some of them are slow. I tend to play it slow because if it, you look at the story, so here's the story. I learned this in the um, on the Big Island. And that's where Ka uh, Kalapana is. That's part of the name of the song. Hole is a set of cliffs um, uh, west of Kalapana. Kalapana, the original Kalapana, you really can't go to anymore because that's covered by lava uh, near Kilauea and the Volcano National Park. Um, but if you were sitting in Kalapana, or at least the, what I heard, is that at Hole, there's these waves that would crash against the cliffs. And at night, um, as I understood the, the story behind the song, you can actually hear the roaring waves. And that's where Kuli Vale, Kuli Vale, it, it's about the deafening roar uh, of the voice of the, of the uh, uh, waves on the cliffs. Except it's three miles away. So how loud is loud? Um, 
So I tend to play it softer, um, and, but what we're going to do today, we're going to play with this very simple straight eight strum. Um, and if you notice, it does uh, transition to another key. So we start out in C. Um, and if you start off in straight eights, that's great. Um, I'm going to play it as an arpeggiated chord, set of chords uh, the first time through in C. We'll come back up to the top. I'll start strumming straight eights in C. And then when we get down to the uh, bottom, you'll see it in number two, A, seven, D. It means on that after we when we get to the second time through, you're going to change to the A7 chord to the D chord. Then we're going to go to the the uh, key of D, and, we're, and I'll be strumming with you in straight eights. Okay, so here we go with whole A. that song that's, that's pretty. pretty that's nice yeah i used to play that with my uh my daughter if you look on the internet and um i think it was uh lake and ukulele festival my daughter or maybe when i was one of the open mics at the cafe montmartre my daughter actually played that uh or a hula dance to that song uh which was always a lot of fun i mean that was one of the things that um and then when my daughter was still living at home, then occasionally do some of the open mics and she'd come out and dance, uh, dance hula. So um, I think the next song is going to be yours, David. So why okay. don't you talk about it? And I think this is the Misty Mountain one. Okay. Uh, Misty Covered Mountains of Home. Yeah. yeah. Before I get into that, I got to a, a, a share a funny story. Moses was talking about submitting a, a video if you want to do a... Uh, I am what I am video. And uh, so we're, we're recording those things and using, um, you know, all kinds of recording techniques and stuff. And you have to listen to the song uh, in one ear in order to play in time so that it can mesh up with everybody else's. Right. And so I would wear these big headphones 
And then uh, people were using little earbuds. I said, yeah, that's what I want to do. I, instead of having the big headphones, I'm going to have little earbuds. And it works better, actually, because when your ears are covered, you can't hear yourself play and you can't hear yourself sing. And then you get off key. At least I get off key that way. So I found a cheap pair of like $10 earbuds and stick in my ear and it didn't fit. It kept falling out. So, um, so I killed two birds with one stone and I, I, I put it in my ear and I literally taped it to my ear with a band aid, <laughs> so that you couldn't see the, you couldn't see it. It looked like skin from the video. So if you look at that video again, that he shared at the beginning, <laughs> you won't see it cause it's, <laughs> it's bandaided to my face. Anyway, that was pretty funny. Okay. All kinds of things you do duct tape, you know? Um, okay. So the mist covered mountains of home, uh, you may remember this one. I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a standard kind of tune that you may have heard before. Um, it was actually sung, I think at, uh, JFK's funeral or something. And we used to do this, a couple of us used to do this for, um, um, open mics, uh, uh probably about three years it's been, but, um, anyway, um, it's a pretty song, uh, and I'll show you the chords real briefly because, uh, may not be familiar so it, it's in a, a three four time and so uh if you play the d minor uh it's going to sound like this one two three one two three one two three one two three hey moses can you put, go on mute it's, it was coming through that's fine so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's kind of how the rhythm goes. All right. So it's one, two, three. Emphasis on the one, right? Okay. So it's D minor to C. Uh, and then that um, the third line, and by the way, so there's, there's four lines and the chords are the same uh, all the way through, whether it's the chorus or the verses, it's the same. So you just get in, get in the habit of playing those chords. And uh, uh, if you're challenged by that, just play the chords and don't, don't try to sing. Um, anyway, so then that third line is D minor, and E minor seven um, looks like this. It's just the uh, first string, second fret, and the third string, second fret. Okay. Zero, two, zero, two. Real pretty, isn't it? So that's E minor seven. Um, and then to F, and then uh, to E minor seven again, and then to D minor, and the, and the F and the D minor sound pretty similar, but that's that's just the way I um, arrange this thing. So so the chords go like this: D minor, C, D minor, E major seven, minor seven, F, E minor seven, D minor, C, D minor. Okay, so let's do that third line again. I'll slow down. So D minor, E minor seven, F, E minor seven, again. Like that. Okay, so that, that's the only line that's maybe a little tricky and you get the hang of it. It's not, it's not difficult, just a little different from maybe what you're used to. All right. Um, Okay, um, I don't know what I'll do when we get to the solo part or not. And then uh, at the bottom of the page, um, you know, of course we, we can do the, the chorus twice and then tag the last line slowly as it says here. So anyway, let's, let's go. Maybe I'll slow down just a little bit. Oh, hora, soon will I see them. again on the fields and the hills and the birds in the glen with people of courage beyond human ken in the haunts of the deer i will roam chorus oh ho soon will i see them oh hero see them oh see them oh ho soon will i see them Mist-covered mountains of home. Hail to the mountains with summits of blue, to the glens with the meadows, 
of sunshine and dew to the women and men ever constant and true ever ready to welcome one home oh ho soon will i see them oh hey see them oh see them oh ho soon will i see them the mist covered mountains of home Let's do it. Let's do my my solo break here. I messed up. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I need somebody playing the chords with me. Okay, back to the chorus. Hurrah! Soon will I see them. Oh, hey, ro. See them, oh, see them, oh, ho, ro. Soon will I see them amidst covered mountains of home. Last verse. There shall I visit the place of my birth. They'll give me a welcome, the warmest honor. So loving and kind, full of music and mirth, to the sweet sounding language of home. Soon will I see them, oh hey ro. See them, oh see them, oh ho ro. Soon will I see them, the mist covered mountains of home. Oh ho ra. Soon will I see them, oh hey ro. See them, oh see them, oh ho ro. Soon will I see them. Miss Covered Mountains of Home. Miss Covered Mountains of Home. There you go. Um, yeah, I needed somebody to play the chords so I could follow my solo, but anyway, sorry yeah, about that. You know, David, nice song, though, huh? Yeah, we should try that one time to see if Moses, we Moses, you're on mute if you were going to. Uh, oh, no, I'm, I'm muted to you, but they can hear me. Oh, okay. Yeah, because uh, I always got to remember. That's why I um, apologize for strumming in the middle of your song. I don't think oh, they... Oh, well, maybe they didn't hear it. That could be. I don't yeah, know. I'm not sure because um, my microphone that I have in front of me is tied directly into the feed. Uh, it's not the same microphone that's in the Zoom. So, uh, okay. but one of the things I wanted to try maybe next time, um, or what we could do is we could try that right now. Do you want to try that just the... Uh, that chorus part where you're playing okay. your solo break. Um, hang on see a second. See if we think enough to have it work out. Well, I don't know. We could try it and ask to see uh, what what they think it sounds ask, ask like. Ask if it's synced up. Yeah. Um, so one of the things are uh, because it's only me and you in the Zoom, so it may, right. we may not get any latency. Maybe. And where do you play your uh, your? It, it, well, it's just to the chorus, but it's the same chords at any any point. Okay, so let's try that. So give me the count, and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep strumming the chords. Uh, okay. And you see if you could play the solo break. Uh, yeah. Let's let, okay. So let's go to the the middle verse there, and I'll do the last line of that middle verse, right? Okay. And you keep going. Okay, that'll help me. Okay. Ever ready to welcome one home. I didn't quite hear it come through. I don't know. Yeah, I couldn't hear you loud enough. Well, we, we'll work on it. It might work out. Might well, work. I just noticed that my, uh, one of the things in Zoom, and this is for also for the, uh, uh, for the Jamland, I noticed in Zoom, if you don't turn on original sound and you don't have all, I know, I know my other features are all turned off. It, it, Zoom has its own way of saying, well, you're too loud and it turns it down. Oh, yeah. now you're too soft and it turns yeah. it up. And it's always in a, in a not best place for playing music. So you got to do all these things as saying, I know you probably know best Zoom, but we know better. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and you got to turn a lot of those things off. So anyways, um, that was, that was I like that song. 
Um, mm -hmm. So we got to try it another time. We'll see if we can. Uh, I don't know if uh, I didn't hear any. Don't see any comments. We have. Uh, oh, we're up to ten today. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know if that's because the way it's it was advertised today for the jams. Um, I know right about now, we, last time we got like 30, 40, or even 50 people. I, I don't remember the number, but it, it was kind of up there. Today was a little bit lower. Could also be because everybody's on the way to the beach for the 4th of July weekend uh, and not practicing social safe distancing. Um, oh, Denise was online, and she said it synced up fine. Oh, really? So mm. we got to try that more often. We pick a song that. that I could strum and you could yeah. pick, or you could strum and I could pick. You know what we got to try that on? We always do Sweet Wahina on the end. So let's right. try that. You want to do that today? We'll do yeah, that now. let's try that today. We'll, we'll see how that yeah. goes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I just need to hear yours a little better. But uh, yeah, I used to do that with the Burks. In fact, that song we just did, I, I the Burks, it, we had a nice little harmony going on with that. Yeah, um, the thing was, I was trying not to play it too loud, but I, know. I, I, no, I just noticed my. Um, uh, original sound was turned off and I just turned it on so we'll get and okay. well, so check yours too to make sure it's you know all of those other things yeah, we do when sure. we have the ensembles because I'm getting ready to go play this song next and for everybody that's uh, it's called Paniola Country we played it last time and the sheets up on the screen and if you remember this song it's uh, it was at least the the first time I heard this song was um, from uh, Randy Travis, and it's been played by a number of different Hawaiian artists uh, and some other folks. Um, and but we'll see how this goes. Remember, it's kind of it's a tremolo, slow. There's a whole nother page to this. So when we get down to the bottom of the song, where it says "Clean Mountaineer," we go back to the chorus, um, and we're not going to do the solo through this song. Um, and then we go back to the chorus and you kind of repeat the last line of the, uh, I'm sorry, not solo, but uh, re go back to the chorus and repeat the last line twice of the chorus that's in the middle of the page uh, as an outro. So here we go. Uh, well, I'm sorry, let me see. We get down to the bottom, we go to the chorus, we go back to the first verse to the chorus, and then and when we go back to the first verse playing it regularly, then we, in Paniolo Country, we sing that last, that last line of the chorus twice. So here we go. Places I have been, and cities I have seen, with concrete canyons rising from the ground. Probably notice that F there is supposed to be a B flat. Miles and miles of asphalt trails stretched across the land. Stampeding metal ponies and other B flat and leaving smoke along the way. I'm going back to Paniolo country. The stars at night, no city lights. Paniolo country, my home on the range. I made up my mind. Any time I'm going back to where the clouds rise high. I take my word, it's pretty and not like the great big city. The wind still brings cool, clear mountain air. Going back to Paniolo country, the stars and the city lights, Paniolo country, my home on the range. Back up to the first verse, places I have been, the cities I have seen, with concrete canyons rising from the ground. For miles and miles of asphalt trail stretched the
nice. I always like that song. Nice and slow, but I think you'll find there's a different version in our songbooks uh, because there's a whole second page and there's a second set of lines for the chorus. Uh, but this is a great one pager for the jam so we don't have to flip pages with the technology because that's, that's a little bit more difficult to do. Um, oh man, I keep forgetting we got these news the way we got these screens set up. So, um, so what do you think, David? I mean, I, I know you've played this uh, even at a, at a performance at the right. uh, Reston Multicultural. Right. Yeah, um, we used to do that one. We all wore cowboy hats and things like that. And uh, uh, it, it, I like the song. It's a really, it's a really good song, and I like what we did with it then when we um, modulated up at the end, and which isn't. Maybe it's maybe not too hard for the society to do, but we should definitely do this more often with the society. And I'm a little rusty on it. Yeah, and I think I pulled a fast one on you, David. The next one is a syncopated hula love song. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's. I I thought it was the other one that you gave us, oh, okay. Hula Hula Heaven. But what I'll do is, if you could play that one, I'll set up Fine, that yeah. song for the next one that you okay. do. Is okay. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, I can do that. Just gotta find it. Uh, no. Don't let my picture move. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I found my song, so let me just uh, arrange it here a little bit. Okay, so this is one of these Happy Howley songs. I, I did do this, I think, last time. You may you may remember if you were on here before, but uh, we'll do it again. Um, it's uh, it's pretty simple. It's in the key of F. It's got basically two or three chords. What does it got? F, right? C seven. Uh, it's got the B flat in there. Um, and I'm looking down. It's got an A. Okay, so they're in the. Uh, um, it's not so much a chorus as it's a bridge there in the middle where we go to the key, uh, we go to the, uh, the chord A and then the F sharp minor, which there's a little diagram of it. Um, or you don't see the diagram, do you? I don't think you have that diagram. Okay, so so if you do the A, um, which is like this, it's, uh, it's like an A minor, but then you put your finger on the um, third string first fret, that's A. And then the F sharp minor is you leave those fingers there and then you just put your uh, ring finger down on the second string, third fret. So it's a, like a G7 shape, but up a string. That's the F sharp minor. So from A, you're just adding that, that string on there. All right, so that's, that's what that is. It's just a, it's in parentheses because it's a passing chord anyway, so don't worry about it if you can't do it. Uh, there's also a G7 and a G minor seven. So G seven, you know, G minor seven is like if you're doing a B flat, but you take off your uh, ring finger from the top string, that's G minor seven. That's not a pretty chord. Okay, that's all the chords. So um, yeah, it's, it is a, a little bit syncopated, um, not a lot, but a little bit. So um, let's see here. So we have, a, we have a typical turnaround in F. So the Hawaiian turnaround is gonna be G seven, C7 and F, and that can be our um, uh, intro and our outro, and in between, you notice how it's in there. Okay, so let me start over. A syncopated hula love song, a hula maiden sang to me, and I lost my heart the beach at Waikiki. That's how it goes. I blew her mind. That moon was shining. <laughs> Hard to say. Stars were blinking high above. And I got my start in the art of making love. Though a coral sea has come between us and fond reminiscing brings a tear. Still I love my dark Arula Venus, and once again I long to hear a syncopated hula love song. We're at the top now. A hula maiden sang to me, and I lost my heart on the beach at Waikiki. Second verse. 
verse. A blue Hawaiian moon was shining. The stars were blinking high above. And I got my start in the art of making love. Though a coral sea has come between us, and fond reminiscing brings a tear, still I love my dark head hula Venus, and once again I long to hear a syncopated hula love song. We're at the bottom now. A hula maiden sang to me. When I lost my heart on the beach at Waikiki. There you go. Harry Owens, the guy that wrote uh, Sweet Leilani and, and some other um, old standards. I thought it was fun. I hear you on Zoom. There we go. Uh, that was weird. So our, our, our first technical glitch, a major technical glitch today. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad. No. And uh, while you were playing there, David, I did get the other songs set up for you, the Ukulele okay. Heaven. Uh, but of course, I'm going to be playing one before you. We're going to be playing right. a Sweet Gardenia Lay uh -huh. uh, with everybody. That's one of the songs that we have on our regular set list for uh, for the society to perform when we're at the um, um, uh, the adult living uh, uh, adults uh, assisted uh, say adult assisted living centers or something like that. Um, the senior homes and the senior centers where we get to go and play some music for them. Um, and uh, this is just one of the songs, Sweet Gardenia Lay. But, and these are songs that were all written about the same time, if I remember right, around the 50s and some in the 60s and some of them even in the 40s, um, where you know, David had mentioned the word hapahali. That's uh, ha half Hawaiian because it's in English. Um, some of these songs were written around the time of the Tin Pan Alley for movies. Um, and um, that came out around that same time frame. Um, and uh, some of that music is still uh, being carried on today, and some new ones are written uh, along those same lines. And uh, so it's always interesting to see how these songs mature. Um, well, that, so without any further ado, let me, oh, let me check something real quick. I want to always like to check nowadays the chat feed to see if we are. Oh, you can't hear me. Is. Uh, Oh, Amy's online. Hey, Amy. Uh, so are we doing, can you hear me okay? Can we hear it? Hear me okay now? I think I'm good to go now. I'm going to take that as a yes. Um, so here we go. Sweet Gardenia Lay. Uh, the song is up on the uh, screen. And remember, this, this one kind of goes down from the intro to the first verse to the uh, uh, sort of the um, chorus or the uh, or, or a bridge um, and then it comes out into that uh, till you return to me but then you get to that end of that line it says my sweet gardenia lay and it says vamp it goes up and you play that um, that vamp uh, just as it's written C uh, C uh, a, a minor uh, D minor Actually, on the vamp, you only play that once. You go C, A minor, uh, D minor, my sweet, and then you go into that second time through, and you sing all the way through. But when you come back down to the, uh, the second time, you see this says, on to, to coda. So when you come down to that part, it says, till you return to me, and you play that line, you hit that A7, you go to where it says coda, which is ba basically drops you through towards the ending of the song, uh, or the outro, and you sort of repeat that same line instead of singing till you return to me he says bringing me a song and my sweet gardenia lay you're singing out uh, with the same um melodic line and then he says bring me a song as this uh, while you're slowing down and all you have to do is kind of follow me and that is a c may it's uh, supposed to be 
Uh, it's a C major seven, not a C sharp major seven, and that's just the uh, instead of playing your C chord with the, on the third fret, you're bringing you're moving it over to the uh, second fret, and that's a, uh, the C major seven. And of course, that last line is uh, if you can sing harmony, great. But it's my sweet gardenia lay, and you'll see me go. And that's what you'll try to do. And when my ukulele hits the bottom of that drop, that's when you strum the chord. Okay, here we go. My sweet gardenia lay. like that song too I haven't yeah. played that one like forever you know 10 years ago when we first started club or all over 10 you know we used to play this song a lot that I'm glad a, you brought it back yeah it's uh, and it's now in this year's set list if we ever yeah. uh, come out of the uh, the pandemic which now I'm starting to doubt that we are with all of the <laughs> new spikes that we're seeing all over the country um, but you know if we don't we don't but we still get to play um, play this song uh, uh, for ourselves on and we get to jam with everybody and that uh, that joins us on these uh, open mics uh, well anyways David I think the next one's on you and this All is right. your, your hula your uh, hula heaven song okay and I... okay uh, so um, this uh, uh, is a um, uh, it's not another Harry uh, Owen song but it's uh, of that ilk so there was a movie um, in 1937 called Waikiki Wedding with uh, Bing Crosby. And um, it had uh, the song um, um, Blue Hawaii in it. And it also had the song Sweet Leilani in it. 
And Sweet Leilani won the Oscar for best song that year. Uh, I think only because um, I think Blue Blue Hawaii either had won it before or wasn't up. But later on, when Elvis did his Blue Hawaii movie, uh, they might have wanted to put Blue Hawaii in for best picture, but they couldn't because it was in way back in 1937. Um, in this song. So this song is called In a Little Hula Heaven. And so I did a very light uh, rewrite of it to say in a ukulele heaven. Um, and uh, so this one um, is another one in C. So it's got that G7, C7 to F turnaround at the beginning. Um, and um, uh, it's it's more straightforward than the other one. So but a couple a couple of things happen. So if you look at the the bridge there in the middle, uh, the part that's indented. Um, so it goes to B flat and then B flat minor. Well, that one, um, if you don't know it, it looks like you're gonna bar across on the first fret, the lower three strings. And then you're gonna put your ring finger up on the top string on the third fret. And that's a that's a, a closed minor shape. And if you can't do that, just just do the lower three and don't strum the top string, okay? So the B flat, sounds like that. Okay, um, and then F, D7, G7, C7. Um, and then at the end, so the last song that we just did, um, Sweet Gardenia Lay, uh, Moses showed you how it ended on that C major seven. Um, well, so, um, Normally that song might have ended on a C, but the C, the C major seven gave it a sort of a wistful, uh, pretty sound. And so you can end songs in C on that chord. It doesn't work for all songs. So if it's upbeat song, um, you, you might not do that, but for, a, but for a more delicate feel, you might want to do that. And so I'm going to do that here. So if you look at the bottom, this song ends with sort of an F. But then there's that F major seven. That's what the capital M means, major seven there. So if you think about it, the way to do it is, if you think about the, let me see if I can get in the picture this time. Um, the, C, the C major seven, it's like a C, but you move down one. And it goes like this. So if you imagine you're barring uh, down here on zero with your index finger, that's the shape you're gonna use for the F major seven but you're gonna slide your index finger from nothing up to the fifth fret, all the way to the fifth fret, and then you're gonna hit that seventh fret on the bottom there. Okay, it's not hard to do. Um, that's F major seven, and it's way up the neck, so it makes a pretty ringing sound. And so, um, because we're gonna slow down probably at that last line and even pause for effect, you'll have time to get your finger up there. So you'll go G7, C7, F. Get your fingers up here and put a little pause up there. And, and if you can't keep up with me, just, you know, you can do this on your own and just slow down. F, take all the time you need and do something <laughs> to, <laughs> to dramatize it, all right? So that's a, that's a pretty way to end a song uh, in F. Okay, so um, let's see if I can do this now. We sing, okay, we're singing a C on this one to start, but it's the higher C. Let's fly. Okay, and so that's why I have the F with the C on top. F slash C. F chord with the C. That's still an F chord, but I'm putting the C because that's where the melody note is. Let's fly. Right? That's why that's there. Okay. Yeah. 
in an ukulele heaven, living a dream of love. Go back to the top. Let's fly above the weather to a ukulele heaven over the silver sea. We'll play and sing together in a ukulele heaven under a koa tree. Days would be lazy and sweet be crazy and nights will be hazy above. We'll be alone forever in an ukulele heaven living a dream of love. Did you get there in time for the F major seven? So normally that would, the song would be faster. It would be a little more upbeat. And I just wanted to kind of go slow. It might go like, of course that's too fast. I don't know. What do you think Moses? Yeah, that's, that sounds, I mean, I, I've known that song for, I used to play that with uh, Gordon Valesco. Okay. Um, him and Debbie used to sing that song and I used to mm. just play the, you know, the backing track strumming. Well, he had all these fancy riffs that he would be playing out wow. there, and Debbie would be playing the bass. Mm -hmm. um, but it, of course, it was a little one of those jazz numbers, so that was always pretty cool mm -hmm. uh, yep. that they had that. Um, so I'm hoping I did switch microphones. So I'm uh, I think um, Brian um, and Beverly, you kind of mentioned. Oh, okay, so it is in both speakers. So I think I've trace that down david where are some of that uh, issues with the uh recordings um okay. so i gotta sort that out i i'm uh, in a different for some of you who don't know i got two different setups i got a microphone on this side and then i got a microphone on that yep. side and oh i got uh, a microphone and, and then i got all kinds of stuff then david's got a microphone i got this thing here you gotta you just have to make sure it's taut and then everything's fine with this thing yeah it goes Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me, David? Yeah, 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 I got you. Yeah, it's called the Coconut Wired, wired <laughs> Network. <laughs> okay, so we're going to try. Um, well, this is good. That uh, so I, I kind of know what's going on here. So I got to remember to use the pseudo tra uh, pseudo tech uh, speaker for, especially for the open mics, and then that way we can, uh, people can hear out of both ears. Uh, and if they're wearing headsets, because I think that what they were saying is if they were wearing headsets, they could only hear me in one ear. Is that called selective listening? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so here's <laughs> so here's a song. Um, I haven't played this one in a long time. I used to play this one at an open mic down in um, Creme Cafe. Uh, speaking of Gordon, um, we were down. We used to do open mics twice a month. We used to. Do it. Um, I think it was on second Tuesdays, we would be down in um, downtown off of U Street at Creme Cafe. And this was one of the songs I would play on my baritone. Uh, and then, um, um, then it sort of got shelved for a while. Uh, I was going to play it last week, but last time, but it kind of ran out of time. And I'm, I'm watching the clock. We only got about 20 more minutes. So we got like a handful of songs that we got to get ready for the. Um, um, the uh, uh, shoot, what's that thing called? Uh, the open mic. <laughs> I can't, can't even remember where we're, what we're doing anymore. <laughs> Got so many things going on. Okay, so everybody, this is a song. It's fairly uh, simple, and I and, and I don't know if you heard me in the background when David was playing one of those other songs. I forgot to mute my mic, uh, and uh, on the Zoom because. Even though I'm speaking you, and you hear me in the YouTube land off of this microphone, um, the uh, there's another microphone that's running on the Zoom that David can hear me because um, where you hear me, it's not actually going through the Zoom. It's going directly from this microphone to, uh, to uh, um, YouTube. Um, but this is great. 
So here we go. We're going to start right off. The, there's no surprising chords that I could see in here. Oh, oh forget about it. it says uh, G suspended four in the chorus. Just play a G. Don't worry about that suspended four. So here it goes. back to the top. Someone told me long ago, there's a calm before the storm. I know it's been coming for some time. When it's over, so they say, it'll rain a sunny day. I know, shining That is. I mean, that's, uh, you know, Cle uh, Credence Clearwater and John Fogarty, you know, the one who brought us Tina Turney and the uh, Wheels of, uh, what is that? Um, man, I can't even think of the songs anymore. Uh, it's one that Tina Turner does. Uh, uh, at uh, She's wearing all the Vegas costume, and uh, it's another one of John Fogarty's tunes. Uh, Big Wheels Keep on Turning. Oh, uh, Proud Mary. Proud Mary, that's right. Um, and John, I hope you caught that that uh, that comment I made about just don't play the G a G suspended four. That was when I was doing some weird stuff on my baritone um, because the the, uh, the chord shapes that I had on a baritone was slightly different, um, so I could play some of these nice runs. Well, anyways, I think 
David's up next with, uh, if you don't mind, David, and I'll join you with this on this one. We're going to try to do it. It's uh, America the Beautiful. Do you have that one readily available? Uh, yeah, I'll give me a second. And, and while he's getting ready with that song, and I'm going to pop him up then, I think. Yeah, got it. You want to see if we can do it in, in unison here and see how it turns out? Yeah, sorry about that. I had to, I had to drop my microphone back in there again. <laughs> oh me, lots of fun with this technology. Uh, and then if anybody from the you know from the society is looking at it, um, okay, Beverly. Hey, thanks a lot for coming. Uh, we'll see you next time. Um, but anyways, we're gonna wrap up with Sweet Wahine right after this one uh, because David and I have to hop off and get ready to get set up for the open mic. Uh, and that one's going to be a treat for you guys uh, if you hang around. That is on Facebook, uh, on the Facebook Live. Um, There's a and, full docket on that one, isn't there? Yes, there is. And if you go to, I'm going to drop that before I forget while I'm talking. Um, I am going to jump to our live page. I think. And I want to drop that in the, the chat room. Um, before I forget, and if you go to this page on Facebook, that should take you right to the um, the live feed for Facebook. Um, we got a really big lineup, um, a lot longer than we've had for a while, um, and we have a treat for you on the end. Michael Kiale uh, has decided has has agreed to. Uh, he was gonna he wanted to uh, do another. Um, uh, kind of open mic uh, and um, the um, we're gonna be bringing him on uh, in a little while with the um, uh, with the lineup of the open mic so we're, without further ado we're gonna start off on this um, uh, America the beautiful and David why don't you take it away okay. and I'm gonna try to join in I'm gonna try, right. try not to play too loud to see if we, how that works okay yeah I hope so yeah actually it's a good idea because um, we do have a holiday coming up and uh, there's always a debate over whether we should replace um, the, uh, the uh, what you call it Star Spangled Banner with some other song for the national anthem because nobody can sing that thing right I vote for this one if we had to redo our national anthem, this is just real pretty. Yeah, this is the land of the free. We get to do whatever we want. <laughs> <laughs> Within reason. <laughs> Within reason. <laughs> um, so, okay. So, uh, it's in the key of G. The first sung note is that D there. So, I'm going to try and set a pace here. How's that? Oh, beautiful for space. a nice song 
Yeah, right now I feel like going on, there's more verses, but they're not here, so. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, we're, we're sort of restricted, or we kind of restricted ourselves the songs that we could put yeah. on a single page that people can read on their TV screen, so they don't, we don't have to worry about books or anything like that. We just post them on the screen. And, and I want to say for the society members, if you ever want to uh, lead one of these songs, um, We'll, we'll set you up, and you'll be brought into the uh, Zoom setup that uh, David and I use. Uh, and then we'll have the pages all set up, and you'll get to lead us in a tune. And you'll get to share that with us and everybody else out there. Because uh, like I said, well, this is sort of the new norm where we normally just meet at our sponsor, Ona Brewing Company, who's letting us use their brew house as our, as our meeting place. Um, where it's convenient for the food and... Uh, and um, if you imbibe, you can imbibe in their tasting room with some of their, 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 their it's boutique beer. Uh, if you know what, don't know what that means, that's beer that you don't normally find in the mainstream, like a Schlitz or Paps Blue Ribbon. Oh, that may be dating myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Black Label. Oh, yeah, Black Label, that one too. Oh, yeah, I remember some of those. No yeah, I, I forget some of those beers. Uh, um, you know. Lucky. PBR, Schlitz. What was that other one? Falstaff. You remember Falstaff? No, that's. I think that was up in like Milwaukee or something like that. Well, anyways, we're going to wrap up right now with Sweet Wahine. And I'm going to throw that on the screen. And we're going to try to do that with the way we normally do this song. Uh, where um, if David keeps on strumming, like we're going to do the regular arrangement. Um, and then... He's going to do his solo, and I'm going to do my solo at the appropriate place. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I think we got this uh, we got this latency thing uh, kind of worked out. Um, and um, let us know how that sounds in the chat room. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we need people to tell whether it sounded off or not so that next time, it'll be too late this time, <laughs> but next yeah. time. Two board. John mentioned Tubor. You remember that one, David? No. Oh, I remember that one. Uh, I think that's like a that's up here and mostly in the northeast, um, where Tubor Tubor Gold. I, I remember that beer. Anyways, so here we go. Oh, and and again with everybody. Remember, this is the song when we actually get to meet in in person. That if you know your C scale. Oh. Too many pentatonic scales. You can actually uh, learn how to play a solo on this. And that was one of the things that I found, at least in the society, and, and then trying to encourage people to play solos. The her biggest hurdle, the hardest challenge in playing a solo is just starting. And if you were able to just play uh, your, you know, on the A minor, there's a, uh, there's a backing track on our website for, for the society members, and it just goes, yeah, go ahead, Dave, why don't you go ahead and play it real quick, just play, just play two rounds, so okay. he's, he's strumming, and, and then I'm just gonna go, I just played something slow. I just stayed to the scale, um, except you, some of you may have seen me play that G sharp. That only works when he's strumming the E7 chord. That's the only time it works. There's a whole bunch of theory behind it. I'm not going to talk about it here, but it just trust me that when you play the E7, if you're doing just playing the scales, play the G sharp instead of the G. That's the better tone for that uh, for that chord. Anyway, so here we go. Sweet Wahine, written by L.T. Smooth and uh, Don Kalia. Um. Pretty lady, 
dance with me It was out on the shores Of Hawaii Where we saw her dance Out in Waikiki Playing Taylor guitars Under the stars An old slack key Es bonito, la muchacha, sui wahine, and dance for me. <laughs> es bonito, la muchacha, a pretty lady, a dance with me. Here we go, David. Esponita, la muchacha, sui wahine, the dance for me. Esponita, la muchacha, the pretty lady, hula for me. Here we go out. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, um, well, that's it for today on the jams. Uh, uh, we're finishing up right a little bit early so we, David and I can get set up for this open mic. Um, but we do want to thank you for uh, coming out. You see the link in the in the um, chat room. That's how you get to the live link or the live feed or live stream, however they're calling it these days, to um, uh, to Facebook. And that's where we'll have the open mic that will start promptly at four o'clock, and we'll see you there. So without uh, you know, <laughs> from David and I. We'll see you next time. Um, thanks. thanks.